Okay, so I thought I'd just quickly demo the uh, another approach for getting smooth gradients um, and blending different colors together because I've seen a few people asking about this. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is just put down a square selection tool, just get a set area to paint within. And let's see, let's pick a, a bit of a brown color here. And I'm just using um, the full buckets just to quickly fill that in. And now we'll blend in a lighter color, this sort of orange. And I want to use the soft ink brush up here on the top right. And I'm just going to fill up about half the, the block, more or less. Just so we can see, those are the two colors that we want to mix in together. And then still with the same brush, I'm going to drop the opacity to about 50%. And then I'm just going to go over this sort of middle section over the brown and then you can see now we've got this slightly blended color. Then I'm going to color pick from that and start moving outwards. So towards the yellow and then towards the brown. And again, same thing, color pick from those blended sections, keep moving outward. So it gradually moves towards the colors on the edge. Now obviously we've got some lines here. Um, we could, to blend this a bit more smoothly, we'll switch on over to a softer brush for one. I mean, there's a few different ways you can tackle this. Main thing though, to um, drop your opacity and drop the hardness of your brush. So if we go with the, the soft brush here, then you can just start color picking again from there and move over where those lines are, where there's clear distinctions between the different tones. And go back and forth, because sometimes you'll go across to one side, the, the line still looks a bit strong, then you color pick from the other side, move back and forth, and just massage the colors into one another. And that's pretty much it. So let's just do this on a, on a sphere as well. So I'll shrink this down, circle select tool, and then I'll just fill it with a, let's see, like a kind of bluish color, sort of like a blue metal of sorts. I'm just gonna pick a slightly darker color, figure out where my terminator line is, where the shadow is pretty much starting, that turning point. Fill in that shadow area. Again, just with a hard brush is fine, full opacity. And then we can start working with a, with a softer brush. Now I'm assuming the light source is coming from the top left, so there's going to be a bit of bounce light coming from, from the right hand side. So it's just a little lighter along that edge. And now I can start kind of blending those colors a little bit, just so it's a slightly smoother transition. You can go back and forth as much as you like. Take the time here. And then we can kind of put in where that light source is exactly hitting. If you've got a more reflective surface, it's gonna be uh, a slightly sharper light point. So let's go with a, maybe a greeny yellow or maybe a orangey yellow light. And I'm gonna have the, the brush quite quite hard here and at full opacity just to pinpoint where that light's hitting. Just like that. And then still with this same color, I'm going to bump up the size of the brush, but go with a softer brush again. So lower opacity, lower hardness, and then just lightly go over because that light is going to start spreading out over the sphere. And that's it. It's obviously not a perfect thing, but you get the idea.